तो लास्ट लेक्चर में हमने बात की थी सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन के सोल्यूशन के बारे में एंड दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट नॉन होमोजीनियस सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन आई प्रज्यूम आज हम बात करेंगे सिस्टम ऑफ होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन के बारे में ये तो मैं डिस्कस किया था कि वट इज होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन ओके आज हम बात करेंगे सिस्टम ऑफ होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन राइट तो इफ यू हैव मोर देन वन होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन वी कॉल दैट इज सिस्टम ऑफ होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा कंसेप्ट डिफरेंट होता है बाकी मेथडोलॉजी सेम है जो नॉन होमोजीनियस के लिए वही गाज एलिमिनेशन या गाज गार्डन की हम बात करेंगे वेन यू टॉक अबाउट सोल्यूशन ऑफ सिस्टम ऑफ होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन इफ यू रिमेंबर वी कंसिडर थ्री केसेस इन सिस्टम ऑफ नॉन होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन वन वॉज यूनिक सोल्यूशन मैनी सोल्यूशन एंड नो सोल्यूशन and then later on we discuss that sometimes a system is consistent or it is inconsistent if it has at least one solution or you may say if it has a unique solution or many solutions it is called consistent and if the system has no solution it is called inconsistent system whereas in case of homogeneous system of equation is it is always consistent right because uh, uh, for a system of equation x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 0 up to x n equal to 0 always satisfy the given equation all equations in a given system right because the right hand side is zero so if you put x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 0 up to xn equal to 0 so everything will be zero right so that's why x1 x2 up to xn equal to 0 is always a solution of homogeneous system of equation bazo ka tumhare paas zero ke alawa bhi iski solution hoti hai so in that case we discuss two types of solutions in one case a system has only trivial solution and in another case we have a system will have you trivial solution plus non trivial solution as well okay so you consider when do we have uh, a non trivial solution but it has always a solution so ye consistent hamesha ke liye hoga isme wo inconsistent system nahi hota non homogeneous mein consistent ho sakta hai lekin homogeneous mein aisa kabhi nahi hota so we usually study the system for two types of uh, solution one is only trivial solution and the other one is non trivial solution as well is trivial solution usme dono hote hain trivial to hamesha ke liye hota hai aur har system ka hota hai theek hai lekin baaki systems aise hote hain jahan pe non trivial solution bhi hota hai theek hai so for example if we consider a system x minus y is equal to zero, and two x plus y is equal to zero. If you put x equal to zero and y is equal to zero, both equations will be satisfied. Okay. See x equal to zero, y equal to zero. but there is no values of x and y for which the first equation is zero and the second is also zero so it means this system has only a trivial solution there is no trivial non trivial solution and if you consider concept from non homogeneous So we say this system has unique solution. So if a system has unique solution, it will be only trivial solution, right? And if you consider augmented matrix of the system, 
that will be 1 minus 1 and then 0 this is 2 1 and 0 and in Shilan form what happens we subtract two times of row number one from row number two is one one and zero is two minus two is zero one plus two is three and this is zero we see that the last coefficient is non-zero therefore the system will be having unique solution and when it is has when it has unique solution then we will be calling it it has only trivial solution there will be no non-trivial solution so If you consider this system x plus y equals 0, and 2x plus 2y is equal to 0, right? So again, x equal to 0, y is equal to 0 is satisfying both equations. Which is always true, as I said. So this is the trivial solution. But if you put x equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1, it is also satisfying both equations. You put here 1 minus 1 is 0. If you put here 2 minus 2 is 0. If you put x equal to minus 1 and y is equal to plus 1, Again, both equations are satisfied. If you put x equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 2, and so on. Right? So, this system has a non trivial solution as well. Non zero solutions are basically in this case, we call them non trivial. Zero is trivial, whereas non zero is non trivial. अब मैं फिर वही बात करते हैं कि अगर एक सिस्टम के सॉल्यूशन में फ्री वेरिएबल मौजूद है इसका मतलब यह है कि उसकी मेनी सॉल्यूशंस होंगे और जब मेनी सॉल्यूशन होंगे तो ऑब्वियसली उसका ट्रिविअल और नॉन ट्रिविअल दोनों होगा बाकी कोई ऐसी खास बात नहीं है इसमें एंड इफ यू गो फॉर द अगमेंटेड मैट्रिक्स So one, one, two, two, and the B part will be zero now. And this is row equivalent to by taking row number two minus two times row number one. This become one, one, zero, and this is zero, zero, and zero. You see that. The last row is completely zero, so we are having only one non-zero row, which means there is one equation and two variables. And whenever uh, this is a situation that uh, we have one equation and two variables, or less equation and more variables, in that case, the system will be having many solutions. And when the system has many solutions, there will be a non trivial solution. Is it clear?
Yes, sir. Okay, so let's move them. If you want to take a screenshot, so we can, otherwise I'm moving forward then. That's the geometry of it. Is the numerically homogeneous equation degree one ka which represents a straight line and that always passes through origin. You must know that. Linear equation which constant part zero origin se pass So if we have only trivial solution hai, case hoga. Or if many solutions and non-trivial solution B hai, so then the two lines will coincide on the other side. Okay, so now it's not possible that you have parallel lines and you are passing from one point. Or we can say that there are distinct lines, distinct parallel lines and you are passing from one point. It's not possible. So no solution in case is not possible. Because every homogeneous line or homogeneous equation jo hai, it must pass through origin. So, this means that if there is no other thing or not, origin will be the solution to the origin. There will be a solution to the origin. There will be other things, but origin will be the solution. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this system of equation. We have discussed this one. But uh, I think in that case, we had some numbers here. And now we are having zeros only. In it, we are considering now homogeneous system of equations. The corresponding augmented matrix is the coefficient matrix and the last column will be now zero. We convert that into the Diouf-Echelon form. I hope you know how to do that. And then the, thir the third row, okay, the, the fourth row is zero, so that's gone. And uh, in, in the latter case, we are having now three equations and there are six variables. So we are having six columns and three non-zero rows in the reduced echelon form. So number of equations are less than number of variables. So there will be non-trivial solution. Or we say there will be three free variables. Okay. So from the la third equation, you can have 0x1, 0x2, 0x3, 0x4, 0x5. So all those variables gone. So we get x6 is equal to 0. The value of x6 is 0. That's formed now. And then we come to the next one that is uh, x3 plus 2x4 is equal to 0. And the first is given you x1 plus 3x2 plus 0x3 plus 4x4 plus 2x5 is equal to 0. We are having back the system of equations and then we solve it by introducing uh, free variables. For this one first we take x4, x2, x5 as the free variables. There are three free variables you may take r, s, t. So x2 is taken as r, x3 is s, right? And x4 is what? x4 is s and x5 is t and then x3 will be minus 2s. So we are having this solution which is obviously you see it involves arbitrary constant which is known as parameter and for different value of r, s and t you will be getting different solutions which might be non-zero. But if you take r, s and t equal to zero we get a trivial solution as well. Is it clear? Yes, okay. sir. Uh, abhi ye ek baat jo main thoda pehle kahi thi, ye ek theorem ke form mein bhi hai. Ye agar hum ye ab ye initial start. Dekhi do stage hamare paas usually hote hain. Ek initial stage pe ham equations aur variable ko count karte hain, aur ek final stage pe karte hain. Final stage matlab jab ham isko echelon mein ya reduce mein convert kar dete hain. Theek hai. To ye jo statement hai, ye initially hota hai. Aapne initially check kiya. And you have the number of equations, the number of variables is less. 
if the number of equations are less than number of variables in that case the system will be having many solutions and if it has many solutions then the homogeneous equation will have non trivial solution as well lekin agar number of equations or number of variables barabar hain ya number of equations zyada hai to fir hum directly system se decide nahi kar sakte usse pehle hum convert karna hota hai echelon form mein aur fir dekhte hain echelon form mein kya ho raha hai theek hai लेकिन अगर इक्वेशन कम हो वेरिएबल से तो फिर हम डायरेक्ट डिसाइड कर सकते हैं ये फिर वही इसमें हम बैक बैक सब्जीशन की बात कर रहे हैं जो कि ऑलरेडी हम यूज भी कर चुके हैं तो आई थिंक वाई मे स्किप दिस इसी वी कन्वर्ट इक्वेशन इनटू इट एक्स सिक्स इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री राइट एंड देन वी हैव हियर एक्स 3 plus 2x4 plus 3x6 is equal to 1. It's already in reduced echelon form. Keeping in mind, echelon form is okay. reduced. Not echelon form. Hai. So, yahan se pyram kya karte hain? We put the value of x6 here, and we introduce the free variable to find x3. Right, and then we put the value of x3, and by introducing x2 and x5 as a free variable, to get solution of uh, the value of x1. This is basically known as backward substitution. See, that's what I said. कोई नई बात नहीं है इसमें भी पुरानी बात है. अच्छा, suppose the matrices below are augmented matrices for linear system in the unknown x1, x2, x3, and x4. they are in row echelon form but not in reduced then you talk about existence and uniqueness of solution for to the corresponding linear system the given systems are given in echelon form and we need to check whether they have solution many solutions are no solutions so i hope you remember the concept i explained in last lecture okay you see the last row is giving you what in the first part in a this is zero the segmented matrix keeping in mind so this is zero and this is non zero and i told you if this is zero and that is non zero the system will have no solution so this system is inconsistent because of this is zero and this is non zero you may explain the way that you say zero multiplied by x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 plus 0x4 is equal to 1 which implies zero is equal to 1 and that is not possible so we conclude that this system has no solution whereas in part b you see the last equation is zero the last row is completely zero so we count the number of uh, we count rows non zero rows which are 3 and the columns are 4 leaving the last one because we are in augmented so there are three rows and four equation four variables three equations and four variables number of variables are greater than number of equations the system will be having many solutions there will be one free variable involved in it and whenever we have a free variable in solution the solution will have the system will have infinite solutions here in the last example number of equations and variables are same in the echelon form so the system will have unique solution is it clear this is explained here you may look into it Okay. Now let's talk about uh, some facts about echelon form. I hope you know that already. You have echelon form. We have a few things. Before we have studied FSC, and now we have studied it. 
تو پہلی بات تو یہ ہے کہ کسی بھی میٹرکس کی ریڈیوس سے چلان فارم جو ہے وہ یونیک ہوتا ہے بیکاز آپ جو رو آپریشن اپلائی کرتے ہیں وہ کسی بھی سیکوینس میں اپلائی کر سکتے ہیں جب کوئی بھی رو آپریشن آپ اپلائی کر سکتے ہیں لیکن جو ریزلٹ ریڈیوس سے چلان فارم ہوگا دیٹ ول بی فکس ٹھیک ہے آپ رو ون رو ٹو کو انٹرچینج کر لیتے ہیں پہلے یا رو ون رو تھری کو انٹرچینج کر لیتے ہیں یا رو ٹو رو تھری کو انٹرچینج کر لیتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے کسی پی ووڈ کو آپ ون بناتے ہیں بائی ڈیوائڈنگ اٹ ویئر نمبر آر مے بی سبٹریکٹنگ فرام سم تھنگ یو کین ڈو ادھر اسٹیپس ادھر آپریشن لیکن ایٹ دا اینڈ جو ریزلٹ آئے گا ڈی فیچلان فارم میں وہ سیم رہے گا لیکن ایچ ایل آن فارم میں ایسا نہیں ہے جو ایچ ایل آن فارمز ہیں وہ یونیک نہیں ہوتے ہیں اف یو ڈو ڈفرنٹ ٹائپ آف اسٹیپس ڈفرنٹ رو آپریشن یو مے گیٹ ڈفرنٹ ایچ ایل آن فارم لیکن اس میں ایک چیز وہ ہے ایچ ایل آن فارم میں کہ جو اس کے پری ووڈس ہوتے ہیں ان کی پوزیشن سیم رہے گی وہ چینج نہیں ہوگی آپ آپریشن کوئی بھی اپلائی کریں لیکن جو پی ووڈس ہیں ان کی پوزیشن سیم رہے گی مطلب آپ نے ایک ٹائپ کے سیٹ آف آپریشن اپلائی کیے ہیں اور آپ کے پاس جو پی ووڈ ہے وہ فسٹ رو کے فسٹ کالم میں آ گیا آپ نے چینج بھی کیا تو فسٹ پی ووڈ جو ہوگا فسٹ رو کا وہ وہی پوزیشن رہے گی ایسا نہیں کہ آپ چینج ہو گیا ٹھیک ہے سو آن تو رو ایچ لین فارمز آر ناٹ یونیک دیٹ از ڈفرینٹ سیکوینس آف ایلیمنٹری رو آپریشن کین ریزلٹ ان ڈفرینٹ رو ایچ لین فارمز آل دو رو ایچ لین فارمز آر ناٹ یونیک بٹ آل رو ایچ لین فارمز آف اے میٹرکس ہیو دا سیم نمبر آف زیرو روز اینڈ دا لیڈنگ ونز آلویز اکر ان دا سیم پوزیشن ان دا رو ایچ لین فارم آف اے Right, which are obviously known as pivot positions. Okay. So you see, that's what we say. If you convert that in the Chelan form, in this case, one is the pivot position here. This is the second row pivot and third row pivot. Position of this is first row, first column. This is second row, third column. And this is third row and fifth column. If you apply various operations, if you change diff and apply different operations, in that case, you'll be having different uh, echelon form, but the positions of pivots will remain the same. They will be lying at the same position. Right? There is some round of uh, uh, error. I hope you know that. Oh, I don't discuss this. Before I go into exercise, I am taking a word. Attendance is worse. نیم چیک کریں آپ کا نیم ہونا چاہیے بلکہ ہے اب اس لیے کیونکہ اتنے اسٹوڈنٹس ہیں بھی نہیں یہ کیا کیوں آپ کے اسٹوڈنٹس جو ہیں وہ سیریس نہیں ہیں کلاسز میں کوئی خاص وجہ ہے کہ کلاسز نہیں لے رہے ہیں یا ان سب کو میتھس آتی ہے ٹھیک ہے پھر بعد میں بھی آپ لوگ یہی چیز کی ہوگی نا کہ جب میں مارکنگ کروں گا تو پھر پتہ چلے گا آپ کو جب آپ کلاسز نہیں لیتے تو آئی یوزلی انڈرسٹینڈ فرام دیٹ کہ آپ کو یہ سب آتا ہے جب آپ کو آتا ہے تو پھر ہم آپ سے بہت زیادہ ایکسپیکٹیشن رکھتے ہیں
Okay, so let's move towards exercise 1.2. That is here, 1.2. So in Excel 1.2, question 1 and 2, they are about uh, telling that uh, in each part whether the matrix is in row echelon form, reduced echelon form, both or neither. Whenever a matrix is in reduced echelon form, it will be obviously in echelon form as well. Right? So, yeah, there is no concept of both. It will be either echelon form or reduced echelon form. When it is in reduced echelon form, it will be both. You may write the answers yourself. Do you see it? Yeah, you may write yes, the sir. answers. Yes, sir. Write the answers on a piece of paper. Which one is echelon, which one is uh, a reduced echelon form, and which was neither. As I said, when you say it is in reduced echelon form, it is both as well. Done? If you see, uh, there is no row, zero row. We don't care about the first condition. These are pivots, so all the pivots are lying to the right. You see, and then all pivots are one as well. And then a column containing pivot contains no non-zero row. So this is in a reduced echelon form plus echelon form. So in this case, it is both. Same thing here, there is one zero row which is at the bottom, condition satisfied, pivots are to the right, condition satisfied, pivots are one, condition satisfied and a column containing pivot does not contain any non-zero entry, condition satisfied for reduce the chalan form, so again it is both. This is also in reduce to so both, this is also in reduce to so both. Okay. This one is what you see. This is uh, P with two, uh, zero row is at the bottom. Okay. Pivots are lying to the right, and a column containing pivot doesn't contain any non-zero row. So this is also in both case. It's uh, echelon plus. A reduce echelon form. A zero row, a zero row, a zero row. So it's a null matrix. Is again both. Whereas this is in echelon form only. It is because of what? You see there is no zero row. Pivots are to the right. This is one pivot. This is another pivot to the right. Pivots are one. But a column containing pivot does contain a non-zero entry as well. So that is only in echelon form. It is not in reduced echelon form. If this minus 7 ki jaga 0, hota, to ye, ye bhi reduced mein hota.
The same thing in part B, question 2 obviously. I hope you can check it. Do it yourself. And question 3, in each part suppose that the augmented matrix for a system of linear equations has been reduced by row operations to the given reduced and form and then we have to solve the system. Right, segmented matrix. The last row is giving you what? Row number 3 is giving you the value of x3 x3 is equal to 5 yahan pe keh raha hai reduce echelon form hai kahin to echelon form mein convert hai reduce mein nahi hai ye keh raha hai it's been reduced by row operations to the given the reduced row echelon form lekin aisa hai nahi Then we go for the second row. So second row is giving you what? We are using backward substitution. That is x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 2, which means x2 is equal to 2 minus 2x3. Which is 2 minus 10. That is minus 8. And then row 1 will give you x1 minus 3x2 plus 4x3 equals 7. x1 is equal to 7 plus 3 minus 4x3. And then by putting the values of x2 and x3, we get x1. So that's 7 plus 3 into x2. x2 is uh, minus 8. Minus 4 into x3. x3 is 5. If you simplify it, 7 minus 24 minus 20, it's I think minus 37. Any question? You can take a screenshot of it. Okay, whereas in part B, we are having uh, again echelon form, but the number of equations are 3, whereas number of variables 4, so there will be many solutions, right? There will be one free variable. So if you move to row number 4, row number 3, and row 3, we could write this is x2, 3, x4, so x3 plus x4 equals 2 which implies x3 is equal to
2 minus x4. And then by introducing a free variable, x3 is equal to 2 minus t. x4 is taken as So we have x3 and x4 as well. Then from row number 2, from this row, we have x2 plus 4x3 minus 9x4 equals 3. This implies x2 is equal to 3 minus 4 into the value of r is x is 2 minus t minus 9t. What is it now? 3 minus 8 is minus 5 and minus 4 plus 4t it's plus 90y so we have 4t so that will become 13t and and then from row number 1, this one, we have x1 plus 8x2 minus 5x3 is equal to 6. So x1 is what? 6 minus 8 into x2 sorry made a mistake this is x3 8 x3 because x2 coefficient is 0 here minus 5 x4 so this is uh, 8 into x3 where x3 is 2 minus t again plus 5x4 so it's 5t 6 minus 16 is minus 10 and 8t plus 5t is 13t So that's the answer for it. You can do same thing in part C as well. In that case, we are having one zero row. So there are three rows and five uh, variable columns. So in that case, there will be two free variables. Where in part D, if you see this one is 0 and this is non-zero, so the system has no solution. This system is inconsistent. By virtue of that technique I explained in last lecture. Same thing in question 4 as well. In each part, suppose that the augmented matrix for a system of linear equations has been reduced by row operations to the given 
रेड्यूसलान फॉर्म यहाँ पे रेड्यूसलान फॉर्म में है क्वेश्चन थ्री में रेड्यूस में नहीं वहाँ पे एसलान फॉर्म में क्यों बनते राइट तो यहाँ से हम डायरेक्टली फाइंड करते हैं पार्ट ए में क्या होगा फर्स्ट विल गिव यू एक्स वन दिस इज एक्स टू दिस इज एक्स थ्री यूनिक सोल्यूशन है यहाँ पे तो ये एक्स वन ये एक्स टू और ये एक्स थ्री की वैल्यू आ जाएगी यहाँ पे अगेन हमारे पास इक्वेशन तीन है जबकि वेरिएबल चार होंगे बिकॉज देर आर फोर कॉलम्स ठीक है लास्ट वन गिव यू एक्स थ्री प्लस एक्स फोर इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड इंट्रोड्यूसिंग वन फ्री वेरिएबल आई होप यू कैन डू दैट इफ यू हैव एन इश्यू कैन आस्क मी नेक्स्ट टाइम इज वेल Where is question five to eight? It says solve the linear system by Gauss-Jordan method. The concept is same in this case. We are given a system of equations. We will convert that into a reduced Hilbert form, the augmented matrix. So if I go for solution of this system, in this case we will be having A B augmented matrix. That is one, one, two, and eight. Minus one, minus two, three, and one. Three. Minus seven. Four. And ten. So by converting on a Chelan form, and then reduce as well. Row number two plus row number one. We do first this operation, and then we do row number three plus three times row number one. The first row remains same. One one two it. Minus one plus one is zero. Minus two plus one is minus one. Three plus two is five, and one plus eight is nine. Three minus three is zero. Minus seven minus three is minus ten. Four minus four plus six. Sorry, this will be what? Minus seven. This is minus, right? Yeah, this is minus. So that's right. So we get four uh, minus twelve is minus eight. So minus eight. It's four minus six minus two. Sorry. And this is ten minus twenty-four is minus fourteen. Next time we make this one zero, and this one zero as well, to convert into a reduced Hilbert form. So we go for R one plus R two. And row number three plus. Ten times row number one. Okay. So we have this one is one plus zero is one. One minus one is zero. Two plus five is seven, and eight plus nine is seventeen. This is zero. This is row number two. Minus one, five, and nine. Zero, 
माइनस टेन प्लस माइनस टेन दिस वन मस्ट बी माइनस यार व्हाट आई एम डूइंग माइनस टेन प्लस टेन इज़ जीरो माइनस टू माइनस फिफ्टी इज़ माइनस फिफ्टी टू As minus fourteen, minus ninety, is minus one zero four. So we first make these one. So we can take minus one row number two, and minus one by fifty two. Row number three. To get one zero seven seventeen zero one minus five and minus nine zero zero one and two. If you are going Gauss elimination method, in that case, you stop here and just go for backward substitution, right? So, but in this case, we are going for reduce. We need to make these two zero as well. We will be taking R one minus seven R three. It is one zero seven minus seven is zero. Seventeen minus fourteen is three. And then we go for the second operation, row number two plus row number five times row number three. Zero. And then minus five plus five is zero. And minus nine plus ten is one. Zero. Zero, one, and two. The second operation applied was row number two plus five times row number three. The first, the last row is giving you x three, x two, and x one. These are the values. Reduce them directly. आ जाता है ये x one. ये x2 एंड दिस वन इज x3 x1 इज 3 x2 इज 1 वेयर इज x3 इज आल्सो 2 Any question? No, sir. No, no, sir. Let me remove this. So you can do question number six as well in a similar way. Question seven in a similar way, and question eight in a similar way. Whereas in question nine, ten to twelve. You have to use Gauss elimination. The same questions, right? You see exercise five, six, and seven. Is in me? What are you going to do? In me, you will convert the formula and then backward substitution. Will you do
ओके जी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन थर्टीन टू सिक्सटीन डिटर्मिन वेदर द हजीन सिस्टम हैज नॉन फ्री वेल सोल्यूशन बाई इंस्पेक्शन विदाउट पेंसिल एंड पेपर बताना है डायरेक्टली कि क्या इसकी नॉन ट्रीवल सोल्यूशन होगी या नहीं होगी सिर्फ आपने ये बताना है लेकिन बगैर सोल्यूशन के तो अगर हम फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन को देखें क्वेश्चन थर्टीन को इसमें क्या है हमारे पास जो इक्वेशन है वो तीन हैं और वेरिएबल्स कितने हैं चार हैं तो ये मैं बता चुका हूँ कि अगर तीन वेरिएबल्स जो हैं वो ज़्यादा हों इक्वेशन से तो वहाँ पर हमारे पास मैनी सोल्यूशन होंगे और जब मैनी सोल्यूशन होंगे तो वहाँ पर लाजम बात है नॉन ट्रिवल सोल्यूशन होंगे तो आप यहाँ पे सिर्फ ये लिख लेंगे कि नंबर ऑफ इक्वेशन आर लेस दैन नंबर ऑफ वेरिएबल तो द सिस्टम विल बी हैविंग नॉन ट्रिवल सोल्यूशन राइट तो दिस वन हैज नॉन ट्रिवल सोल्यूशन यस वट अबाउट दिस वन ये ऑलरेडी अगर आप देखें तो ये एच एल आन फॉर्म में दिया हुआ है तो एक्स थ्री आपको यहाँ से जीरो आ जाता है जब एक्स थ्री जीरो होगा तो एक्स टू जीरो आएगा तो इस केस में इसकी नॉन ट्रिवल सोल्यूशन नहीं है इट हैज़ ओनली ट्रिवल सोल्यूशन बिकॉज द सिस्टम इज इन एच एल आन फॉर्म और एशलान फॉर्म में नंबर ऑफ इक्वेशन और नंबर ऑफ वेरिएबल्स बराबर हैं तो देर फॉर ये इसका ओनली ट्रीवल होगा देर वी नो नॉन ट्रीवल सोल्यूशन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन अगेन वी आर हैविंग टू इक्वेशन एंड देर आर थ्री वेरिएबल एक्स वन एक्स टू एंड एक्स थ्री तो यस इस केस में भी इसकी नॉन ट्रीवल सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट करेगी इन क्वेश्चन सिक्सटीन हमारे पास दो इक्वेशन हैं और दो वेरिएबल्स हैं लुक लाइक लुक्स लाइक बट इफ यू सी द सेकेंड इक्वेशन इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इसका मतलब यह है कि ये सिस्टम बेसिकली इक्वल एंड टू अ सिंगल इक्वेशन है तो दो इक्वेशन लेकिन दूसरा जो इक्वेशन है वो पहले का मल्टीपल है इसका मतलब यहाँ पर एक ही क्वेश्चन है और दो वेरिएबल्स हैं तो यस देर विल बी नॉन ट्रिवल सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम इन सेवनटीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर वी हैव टू सॉल्व द गिवन सिस्टम बाई यूजिंग any method okay you can go for gauss elimination gauss jordan okay so if you check this one you have to con consider augmented matrix and converting that into echelon or reduced echelon form so in this case there might be यूनिक सोल्यूशन बिकॉज इसी द आंसर इज एक्स वन जीरो एक्स टू जीरो एक्स थ्री जीरो सो इट विल बी गिविंग यू यूनिक सोल्यूशन कैन यू डू इट योर सेल्फ आई वी वॉन्ट मे टू डू इट फॉर यू लेट मी डू दिस वन राइट सो फॉर दिस फर्स्ट वी कंसिडर augmented matrix so it is 3 1 1 1 1 0 5 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 0 we could make this one first one so by applying row operation how can we make this one and dono ko interchange kare pehle five minus one one minus one zero three Minus one, sorry, plus one, one, one and zero. Now this is row equivalent to row number one, 
minus 2 times rho number 2. 5 minus 3, 2 are 6, is minus 1, minus 1 plus 2 is minus 3. Then we have 1 minus 2 minus 1 and minus 3 then 0. 3, 1, 1, 1, 0. We make this one 0 now. So we take row number 3, 2 plus 3 times row number. 1 minus 1 minus 3 so 3 minus 3 is 0 1 minus 9 is uh, minus 8 Then we have one. What happens? Okay, so 3 minus 3 is 0, 1 minus 9 is minus 8. And then we have 1 minus 3 minus 2. And then we have 1 minus 8. This is 0. So uh, the last row may be written as minus or 4, 2, 4 by dividing it by 2. So we get 4, 1 and this 2 by 2. This is also 4. So last row give you what? Second row. 4x2. Plus x3. plus x4. Now we are having two free variables. Okay, you may check it, that's the way to do it. So I may take these two as a free variable. Let x2 is equal to r, x4 is equal to t. So in this case, x3 becomes what? Minus 4t minus 4r. And then from row 1 you will find x1 because we had x2, x4 and we found x3 as well. And then from row 1 you would find x1. Try this one then. You would find x1 from r1. You can check it yourself. Whatever.
any question no sir okay we should try the next questions as well up to 24 in question 25 to 28 they are saying find the value of a such that the system has no solution unique solution and many solution for what value of a the system will be having unique solution many solutions and no solutions again the concept is same we consider augmented matrix 1 2 minus 3 and 4 3 minus 1 5 and 2 4 1 a square minus 14 a plus 2 so we can first convert this into a chelan form row number 2 minus 3 row 1 and row number 3 minus 4 row 1 1 minus 3 and 4 we have 3 minus 3 is 0 Minus one minus six is minus seven. Five plus nine is fourteen, and two minus twelve is minus ten. Again, four minus four is zero. One plus four sorry, one plus one minus eight is minus seven. A square minus fourteen plus twelve. A square minus two. A plus two minus sixteen. A minus fourteen. Now we will be making this one zero. So row number three minus row number two. Minus three four as it is. Zero minus seven. Fourteen and minus ten. Zero, zero. A square minus two minus fourteen is a square minus sixteen. A minus fourteen. Plus ten is a minus four. Now the main interest in this question is to find the values of a for which the system has unique solution, many solutions, and no solution. So first, if we talk about uh, unique solution.
you should remember for unique solution this quantity should not be zero so we say a square minus 16 should never be zero agar ye zero ho gaya aur fir is pe depend karta hai ye zero hai non zero baat hum kar rahe hain it means a should not be plus minus 4 the plus minus 4 ke bagair a ki koi bhi value aap lenge you will be getting what you will be getting unique solution if you take a equal to 4 no unique solution a equal to minus 4 again no unique solution iske alawa koi aur le lo 3 4 3 5 8 10 jo bhi lete ho fraction mein lete ho decimal point mein lete ho 4 minus 4 na ho the system will be having unique solution Whereas for no solution, we have this will be 0 and this will be non-zero. A square minus 16 should be 0, whereas A minus 4 will not be 0. So, a ki wo kaun si value hai? Iske liye a square minus 16 to 0 hai, lekin a minus 4 0 nahi hai. Ab dekhe, agar hum a ko 4 lenge, to a square minus 16 bhi 0 aata hai, a minus 4 bhi 0 aata hai. Lekin agar hum a ko minus 4 le lene, to pehla jo hai, wo 0 ho jayega, dusra 0 nahi hooga. So, for a is equal to minus 4, the system will be having no solution. And for many solutions, Again, I'm saying that a minus 4 jo hai wo 0 hona chahiye. Or saath mein a square minus 16 b 0 hona chahiye. In dono ko 0 hona chahiye. Last row completely 0 ho, to skip many solutions honge. Ab a square minus 16 0 or a minus 4 0, to is case mein maare paas a ki jo value hogi, that will be only 4. Pehle bala minus 4 pe bhi 0 ho sakta hai, lekin dusra pe minus 4 pe 0 nahi hota. Hame wo chahiye jis pe dono 0 ho jaye. So, agar a ki value plus 4 hai, the system will be having many solutions. Minus 4 hai, the system will have no solution. Or in ke alawa koi bhi number ho, the system will be having unique solution. Any question? No, sir. The no, button try curling at 28 tak. Yes, sir. G, sir. Okay, so 29, 31, 31 may. 29 or 30, which is okay. For given A and B, we need to solve the system of equation. Which is a set of up to pass the right hand side, or A or B the other way. Okay, so you should try it. And then 31 may care you find two different row echelon forms of this matrix. This cap do echelon form find kar sakte hai by doing different type of operations. Up in ko echelon form me convert kare do ba do tariko se. Like you have to pass two different row operations a jaye. Row echelon forms a jaye. Ye 31 tak aapne karna hai, thik hai. Any question? No, sir. 
no sir okay that's good ye bhi kaun aa raha hai 13 mein 12 13 pe kaun hai ओके इसको फिलहाल छोड़ें सर मैं बाद में दूंगा मैं अब जरा सिंपल चीज़ डिस्कस करते हैं जो आपको पता है ऑलरेडी मैट्रेस और उनके ऑपरेशंस क्या होते हैं तो आई एम गेटिंग थ्रू इट क्विकली यू नो मैट्रिक्स क्या होता है इट्स रेक्टेंगुलर अरेंजमेंट ऑफ नंबर्स इन रोज एंड कॉलम्स ओके इसकी जो मोटिवेशन है वो यही है कि अगर आपके पास uh, सब्जेक्ट्स हैं और करस्पॉन्डिंग डेज में आप कितने घंटे उनको पढ़ते हैं तो इफ़ यू आर स्टडिंग मैथ्स टू आवर्स वन मंडे थ्री आवर्स ऑन ट्यूसडे टू आवर्स ऑन वेंसडे फोर और थर्सडे वन एंड फोर ऑन टू आवर्स रिस्पेक्टिवली ऑन फ्राइडे सैटरडे एंड संडे एंड यू स्टडी स्टडी हिस्ट्री थ्री आवर्स ऑन ट्यूजडे वन ऑन वेंसडे एंड सो ऑन सेम थिंग फॉर लैंग्वेज If you want to put all these informations together, we get a matrix. So, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, and uh, numbers are known as in the matrix are entry these are examples 1 2 3 0 minus 1 4 this is a matrix with three rows and two columns the next matrix is one row and four columns next is three rows and three columns two rows and one column and one rows and one column It's a general notation for a matrix. A11 that basically showing you the position that this is the entry in first row and first column position. A12 which means that first row and second column, and so on. More symbolically, we can write that in this form: A I J M cross N, where M cross N is showing the order. Or sometimes you don't uh, even uh, show the order as well, so we simply write a i j in square brackets. It's a general notation for a matrix. And then you know it's square matrix. If the number of rows and number of columns in a matrix are same, we call it what a square matrix. and this blue part is known as diagonal of the matrix we are on the diagonal you see i and j are same and above the diagonal if you see i is what i is less Still than j i is less than j and below the diagonal i is greater than j there is on the diagonal i is equal to j so this is basically the diagonal of a matrix it is neither a diagonal matrix right diagonal matrix different hota hai scalar matrix different cheez hoti hai yahan pe hum baat kar rahe hain sirf diagonal of a matrix ki aur ye cheez hum baad mein use karenge theek hai so there are some operations in matrices you know when do we have two equal matrices If the corresponding entries are same, the matrices will be same. These are two example of equal matrices. If x equal to five in this case, the matrices A, B will be same. A or C can never be same. B or C can never be same because for equality of two matrices, the order must be same. Right. addition and subtraction of matrices you know that 
two matrices can be added the first condition for it if they have same order so in addition you will be adding corresponding entries while in subtraction you will be subtracting corresponding entries Okay, next, these are examples A, B, and C. You can simply find A plus B, so 2 minus 4, 1 plus 3, 0 plus 5, 3 plus 1. And keeping in mind that A or C can never be added and subtracted because they have different orders. B and C can never be added and subtracted again, they have a different order. Okay, and then multiplication by a scalar. We can multiply a matrix by a scalar. In that case, we multiply every entry of that matrix by a scalar. You may see the example yourself. You see the example. Multiplication of two matrices. पहली बात तो यह कि क्या हर दो मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लाई हो सकते हैं? The answer is no. Okay, did you get the idea? Two matrices are conformable for multiplication if number of columns of first matrix are same as number of rows of the second matrix. Right, for two matrices, if number of columns are first and number of rows of second are same, the matrices can be multiplied, otherwise you cannot multiply them. And how do we do multiplication? I, I, I think I didn't, don't need to explain it to you, everybody knows that. Multiplying first row with first column and then addition, first with second, first with third, second with first, second, third. So that gives you a product of it. Should try to multiply these two together, right? यहाँ पे सिर्फ एक वैल्यू फाइंड हुई है ये वाली, जो कि आना है किससे? सेकेंड रो और थर्ड कॉलम से आ जाएगी। You can do this as well, the same thing. If you want to find this value. This is the first row and fourth column here. So if A is of order M cross R and B is of order R cross N, so these two must be same. Then order of the product A, B will be M cross N. So product ka order hoga, wo first matrix ke rows honge or second ke columns honge. Just an example. कहाँ कहाँ पे मल्टीप्लिकेशन पॉसिबल है और कहाँ पे पॉसिबल नहीं है कौन कौन से तो ए बी सी के ऑर्डर्स ये होने हैं
that's the multiplication then we can divide matrix into small matrices as well or sub matrices as well you can have a11 so a11 could be this matrix this matrix or whatever it may be this one and this one and then this one this one This is row number one, row number two, row number three. This form will be written. This is column number one, column two, column three. Will be written. We will use them. Use will use them. Okay, so इतना काफी है. Next फिर हम बात करेंगे कि multiplication हमने कैसे करनी है. Is a linear combination of rows and columns. Okay, and then we'll be moving further. If you have any question, you can ask. No, sir.